So a while back, a good YouTuber friend of mine, Sean from Sean Co, contacted me and asked me to help him build a keyboard. And like all other keyboard enthusiasts out there, I hopped on the opportunity to build him one. So some of you may have seen the keyboard on his Instagram or even his YouTube channel. And some of you are still not subscribed to my channel. So if it's your first time here, please hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. It would be a great help. So let's get into the keyboard building. So Sean wanted a keyboard that would fit his whole work setup and he wanted something that was white, he wanted something that was functional and he wanted something that was premium. It felt premium, he wanted it to feel premium, basically. So after going back and forth for a bit, sending him a whole ton of like keyboard videos and all that, asking him to listen to ASMRs, um, we finally decided on some parts. So these are the parts that we got or that we decided on. The Gatoron Ink V2 Black. Beautiful sounding linears with 60 grams of actuation force, 78 grams of bottom out, 2 mm actuation travel and 4 mm bottom out travel. And of course I did lube them. So Sean wanted a white build for his keyboard and of course I got him white keycaps. PBT die sub keycaps, um, they look really good, they feel really great. I got them from Gunner Keeves on Carousel. We also cut the cost by getting an aluminium plate. And I think he actually enjoyed the aluminium plate sound profile quite a bit. So we actually just went for the aluminium plate. We also got some standard wires in the box. For the PCB, we got the YMDK96 hot swap PCB. It's got hot swap, meaning the key switches can be easily pulled out and replaced. It's also got a really nice black and gold pattern. And finally, of course, we got the case. He wanted a full white build, but it's almost impossible to find an e-white case for a 96 keyboard. So we went for something closer to white and something that matched well. A light silver aluminum Melody 96 case. It's got a dense construction and the PCB is mounted to the base of the case. The CNCing was done pretty decently apart from some Light scuffing probably due to shipping or packing, I'm not so sure. But otherwise, it's a beautiful case that would go really well with the white keycaps. So let's get into the build. I had a whole lot of fun building this keyboard. This is what I did, or this is what I started out with. I first lubed the 107 switches. It took about eight hours and it was really tiring, but I did it. It requires a lot of precision and repetition. I use Crytox 205 grade zero for the housing and the stem and the spring. If you want to know how to lube your own key switches, you can check out Teha's videos on lubing key switches. The key switch opener really reduced a lot of the time I spent lubing, so make sure you get one. Next up, I lube the stabilizers. Stabilizers is the next most important part about the keyboard. So we got him the Duroc Everglide V2s um, screw-in stabilizers. They sit really well, sit really tight, and they don't rattle as much as long as you lube them well. So I lube the housing with Crytox 205 grade zero and the wires with dielectric grease. I also modded the housing with the Holy Mod, which is basically cutting a precise strip of band-aid and placing it where the wire comes into contact with the housing in the stabilizer. It really helps to significantly reduce the rattle. I did the bandage mod on the PCB to reduce the rattle between the stabilizer and the PCB. Next, I mounted the stabilizers for the spacebar and tested it out to see if the stabilizers rattled. All was good, 
so I moved on. Next step was to mount the PCB on the case. So first I had to unscrew the screws on the case, then screw on the PCB. Place the plate and mounted some of the key switches to make sure the plate was level before placing on all the other key switches. Before we go into the next step, I think you guys should hear what it sounds like when a key switch is unlubed and it's lubed, like the difference. Especially for the Gearon Inks V2 Black. Here's a sound test. Alright, amazing sound test. Now all that's left is to actually put in the key switches, or in fact all of the key switches and the keycaps.
And there we have the Melody 96 Silver with white keycaps, lubed ink V2 blacks, lubed Duroc stabilizers, and an aluminum plate. Overall, it was a really fun build to do. It took a while, yes, I took a while lubing the switches, I took a while lubing stabilizers, but those were the most important parts that really tied into the experience. And I was happy because I finally got to experience and listen to how the Ink V2 Blacks sounded. So I thought I should share it with you guys. Now it's your turn to hear how they sound on the keyboard. Here's a sound test. All right, that's about it for this video, guys. If you love this video, please hit the like button, smash that subscribe button. If you have any comments about this video or your own keyboards, please leave your comments down in the comment section below. Go and check out Sean Ko as well. He also actually did like a mini review of his setup. So you can go and take a look at that and you see the keyboard there. He has, of course, much better product shots than I do. Um, yeah, so, that's about it for this video. Until next time, I'm your host, Tira, and this is Random Review Squad.